All right, let's jump right into it. If you follow along with the link down in the description, it will bring you to the website here, picklumen.com. So we're just going to generate for free right here. This will just bring up the sign in and I'll just click continue here. It's gonna give you a little, little thing right there and then you can just browse some of the images that people have created, similar to Midjourney. But we're not interested in that, right? We just want to we just want to get straight into creating stuff. So here are some things that I've already created. Some spooky stuff right there for my short form content, if you're familiar with that. And then I have some things for the Entrepreneur Empire, which is the private community. More information on that down in the description as well. But I haven't really played with this a ton. It just came out. So, my friends, let me grab a prompt real quick. Then I'm just going to paste the prompt in right there. This is quite a big one that I've used, or I should say, this is quite a big prompt that I generated with my prompt generator, but it is a surreal scene of a mushroom-headed man casually eating toast while lounging on a vintage floral pattern couch. The man's head is a large fleshy portobello mushroom cap, complete with gills underneath and slightly molted beige brown surface on top, blah, blah, blah. Very detailed prompt. And I'm going to switch this to Flux Schnell. I've actually tested out this one and the flux model, both of which are phenomenal. And then you can choose the aspect ratio there. They have quite a bunch of different aspect ratios you can choose from, but we're going to stick with one to one on here because we want a square. And then I'm going to go with four different photos per batch. So you can have one, two, three, or four. I'm going to go with four. And then we're not done yet. If we click this little settings button here, this is where we can add a negative prompt, mess with the CFG scale, we can add steps, and then we can also play with a seed number. But since we're using the flux model, we don't have to worry about any of these because it's not a stable diffusion model. So we, we don't have to worry about this. And then if you are not a English speaker, you can automatically translate your prompt into English. Then you can also enhance your prompt here, which this is plenty good. So we're just going to generate. And yes, this is 100% free to use in as much as you want. It is beautiful. I absolutely love the fact that they did this because I have a 3060 with 12, gig 12 gigabytes of VRAM. My computer struggles to run Flux and it takes forever to do it when it does work. And just like that, we have some freaky looking dudes. Interesting. Now, from here, we can take that same prompt then we can reuse it. And then we can also grab the negative prompt if we need. And it will give us the flux or the sorry, the model that we used, and then all the other metadata. Then we have the resolution, CFG scale, and seed. So if you want to recreate a similar image or the exact same image, you can do so by copying these values and regenerating with them. Then you can download it, you can remix it, which is basically taking all of these parameters and automatically populating that in the in the generation dashboard so we can just quickly recreate the same thing or modify similar versions of it and we can also remove background so if we click this it's going to remove the background let's see how it looks and oh my goodness look at that it is almost perfect so you would need to clean this up a little bit in Photoshop depending on what you're going for but if you want like a nice little parallax effect going on you can just erase that and yeah that that actually looks really good very quick too that took like four seconds so let's try another prompt this next prompt is a majestic anthropomorphic lion cruising down a winding coastal highway in a sleek cherry red lamborghini aventador convertible anthropomorphic is a good keyword you can use if you don't know what that means it's essentially giving human characteristics to a non-human or inanimate object so if you want to create weird stuff like that, this is a great keyword to use. Just a little extra sauce for you there. So I'm going to generate. Nice. That took a about like 45 seconds. Results aren't terrible, actually. They're not the best. The direction is all skewampus. Now I'm curious if I do something a lot more simple. Anthropomorphic is not how you spell anthropomorphic. So an anthropomorphic lion driving a Lamborghini. Lamborghini Aventador. 
I'm actually going to go the, going to do the prompt enhance. So it starts with this, and then just like that, it enhances the prompt in real time, which is beautiful. Now let's generate. There we go. That looks much better. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This one's that one's actually really good too. The car is still a little deformed, but you can't really tell unless you really look at it. This one's good. That's actually really good. It's still a one-seater. Not too bad though. This one's all sorts of messed up. So that is a winner. I'm going to download that because I want to play with that later. Now, I want to remix this. So if we go here, remix, we can actually change the model. So I want to see what this will look like with the Piclum and Realistic V2 model and generate. Give you a little side by side. All right, that is a winner. That is sick. It looks so realistic. The glasses just kind of rest on his nose without any anything going like up to his ear to hold it, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. So what's cool about these models is you can actually, you can upscale it and then you can also in paint. So for, let me download this first, but if, let's say I don't want the sunglasses. So I just go like this. Let's highlight the glasses. I, I just don't want the glasses, so instead of prompting that, I'm just going to submit it. And it should know that I don't want the glasses there. So we'll see. Okay, that took about two minutes, but would you look at that? I didn't even have to tell it what to do. It, uh, it automatically assumed, since I highlight, highlighted the glasses, that it didn't want the glasses. It's incredible. It looks really good, too. Man. And lastly, before I end this video, Let's remix this, and then I'll show you the anime model. So if I go to... We didn't use a prompt for that, so of course it's not going to work. So I'll remix this one. There we go. So we'll remix that, and then we'll just change the model to the anime and see the difference. And that's not too bad. This one's pretty decent. That one's pretty decent. These other ones are less decent. The cars look actually really good especially in this one but the lion is in the wrong spot this one is just completely all messed up definitely a big fan of the realistic v2 and the regular flux model i haven't messed with the line art and i probably won't i'll let you guys do that if you want if you want to stay updated on all this tech make sure you join the entrepreneur empire it's in the link below if you want to build automate and scale a business using AI technology just like this. Today is the last day where you can sign up for free to get your lifetime membership. If you're watching this later down the road, I can't even tell you what the price will be. We're going to consistently increase the price because the value inside is absolutely unmatched. If you're serious about conquering AI, conquering business, and conquering your life, and you want to be surrounded by people who are on a similar path, join with the link below, and I'll see you on the inside. With that said, my friends, I will see you in the next video. Keep conquering.